can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Given that x is a real number, and this equation, x raised to the fourth power plus 2 minus x raised to the fourth power equals 34, then the goal in this question is to find the value of x that satisfies this equation. Now we have choices. Letter A, 1 plus or minus square root of 2. Letter B, 1 plus or minus square root of 3. Or letter C, 1 plus or minus square root of 5. Pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question. Because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given that x is a real number and this, that satisfies this equation, then the goal is to find the value of x in this equation. So we have choices, letter A, letter B, or letter C. Now to answer this kind of question, we need to expand 2 minus x to the fourth power. And to expand this kind of expression, we will use what we call the Pascal's triangle. Now in Pascal's triangle, the first row simply equal to a plus b raised to the power of 0, or simply the coefficient is 1. Now the second row, 1 and 1, this is just the expanded form, the numerical coefficient of x plus b raised to the power of 1, or simply a plus b. The coefficient is 1 and 1. Now, the third row is the expansion of a plus b raised to the power of 3, or simply equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, which is the numerical coefficient 1, 2, and 1. And this is true until infinity. But here, we want this line, a plus b raised to the fourth power. So we can expand this as a raised to the fourth power plus 4a cubed b plus 6a squared b squared plus 4ab cube plus b raised to the fourth power. Alright, but I don't like to expand 2 minus x raised to the fourth power because we cannot cancel anything. So what we're going to do is to rewrite this first because x raised to the fourth power, we can rewrite this as x plus 0 raised to the fourth power. And if we factor out negative 1, negative 1 raised to the fourth power is still positive 1. So we can rewrite 2 minus x raised to the fourth power as x minus 2 raised to the fourth power. Now, why we do that? Because here we have 0 and we have negative 2. And the middle term is negative 1. So let's say, for example, if t equals x minus 1, so we can replace x with t plus 1. And if we do that, as you can see, our equation becomes x is t plus 1, so we have t plus 1 raised to the fourth power, plus we have t minus 1 raised to the fourth power. And this is nice because if we expand this using this identity, the Pascal's triangle, we eliminate some terms. And let me show you. The expansion of t plus 1 raised to the fourth power using this identity simply equal to t raised to the fourth power plus 4t cubed plus 6t squared plus 4t plus 1. And the expansion of t minus 1 raised to the fourth power is t raised to the fourth power minus 4t cubed plus 6t squared minus 4t plus 1. So when we add these two results, we eliminate positive 4t cubed and negative 4t cubed. This is just 0. Also, positive 40 and negative 40, this is just 0. So the sum of these two equations is just 2t raised to the fourth power plus 12t squared plus 2. And this is the value of our expression on the left-hand side. Now, let's combine like terms. Let's subtract 34 on both sides. So we have negative 32. Now, all of these coefficients are even, so we can divide this by 2. So we have t raised to the fourth power plus 6t squared minus 16 equals 0. Now, this is not hard to see that we can factor this out nicely as t squared minus 2 multiplied by t squared plus 8. And now, using 0 property, we can say that t squared minus 2 equals 0 or t squared plus 8 equals 0. Now, solving for t squared, here we have t squared equals 2, and here we have t squared equals negative 8. But, since x is a real number, and x equals t plus 1, therefore this t must be also a real number. 
And using this equation t squared minus negative 8, t here is not a real number. So we don't care to this case. So the only equation that will give us a real value of t is this equation t squared equals 2. Now if we get the square root on both sides, we have two possible values of t. We have positive or negative square root of 2. But we want the value of x. x is t plus 1. So why not add 1 on both sides? So if we add 1 on both sides, we have t plus 1 equals 1 plus or minus square root of 2. This is t plus 1. x is equal to t plus 1. So x equals 1 plus or minus square root 2. And this is our answer to this question. So given that x is a real number, and satisfies this equation, and the value of x simply equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 2, or simply option letter A. And as always, we are done.